Hi, this is Kerry Garrison with 888 VoIP Store, and today we're going to take a look at configuring Astrophones with 3CX. Now, even though 3CX can do some auto provisioning of phones, it's always good to know how to do things manually so that you can set up pretty much any type of phone. So, kind of think of the Astrophones as being an example here because they're all going to use the same basic types of information. The information that we need to register a phone, and again, whether it be uh, an Astra phone or any other brand or a soft phone or even the, the 3CX VoIP phone, we need a, three basic pieces of information. We need the SIP proxy, which is the IP address or host name of the PBX server. The SIP login, which is typically the extension of the PBX user to configure the phone for. And we need our SIP password and authentication. This is the password that we use for the endpoint. Now we'll see exactly how to use this data later on. In 3CX, when we're editing an extension, there's a section for authentication. This is the ID and password. Typically, the ID is going to be the extension number. It doesn't have to be. Just keep in mind that if you change it from being the extension number, You'll need to remember that when we go to provision the phone. And then there's the password. I recommend using a, a different password than the extension. That just kind of prevents hackers from getting in and, and using those extensions. So use a, a multi-digit password that doesn't necessarily have anything to do with the extension. To configure the phone, we're going to log into the web interface of the phone using HTTP colon slash slash and the IP address of the phone. Now we can get that by clicking on the options key on the phone, going to the phone status, going to the network status, and then clicking on the IP address and it'll tell us. When the box comes up for the authentication, assuming you haven't changed it, the password is going to be, or the login is going to be admin, and the password is five twos, 22222. Two, two, two. That's going to be the default. Then we need to configure the phone. The first one is to go to the global SIP settings. And this is where we can put in our proxy server and registrar server. And these are going to be the same. And again, it can be the IP address or the host name of the PBX system. Then we're going to go to the line one settings. The first thing we're going to do is put in a screen name. Now the screen name is for display purposes only, so I usually put the person's name who's sitting at that desk. The phone number, which is the extension of the phone. The authentication name, which as we just saw, is usually the extension unless you've changed it. So if you've changed it, this is where you're going to need to put it in. And the password is going to also be from the authentication screen in 3CX. So that authentication and password, very important to get right. Now, if we want a one button access to voicemail, since some of the Astro phones don't actually have a voicemail button on them, we need to create one using the soft keys. So we do this by going to the soft keys and XML settings. We'll set a key to speed dial, label it voicemail, set the value to 999, which is the extension of the voicemail system, and we'll just set that for line one. So it'll actually be the first thing that comes up on our soft keys. Once you're finished, go to the reset tab under operation and reset the phone. The phone will come up, it'll be registered, and you're ready to make phone calls. So setting up an Astra phone with 3CX is very simple. Next time, we'll talk about how to actually do this using the auto provisioning tools. But this is going to require that you have a DHCP server set up that can push out DHCP scope options, so it's a little more complicated. But if you just need to get a couple phones up and running, this is the short, simple way of doing it. And just remember, you're going to need the proxy, the SIP authentication, and the SIP password. With those three pieces of information, you can configure any SIP phone. Thank you for watching. This has been Kerry Garrison with 888 VoIP Store. Be sure and check us out at VoIPstore.com for more tutorials and how-to guides and all the latest news, as well as our e-commerce site at 888VoIPstore.com. If you'd like more information about 3CX, please visit 3CX.com. Thanks for watching.